We're more renegade than we are paragon, and I don't know what decisions we made to make to get here. I'm fine with it, but you know, still interesting. Shepherd's lockers. That's fine. Or just fine. I accidentally said lockers. Yo, chocolate. Yes, commander. Is there something you need? Investigate. I say out loud. Uh, <laughs> do you mind if I ask who? Like, who the hell are you? How did you end up serving on an alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always you sound seemed like boring it. to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted that's to you travel did a, the stars, That's how you get a dead squad. the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity yeah, needs that's, the alliance. That's what I thought on Akaze. They expanding through the traverse. A and the alliance okay. always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Any regrets? Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. And that special feeling when you pull a bullet out of somebody? Uh, tell me about Anderson. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. Hmm. And he cares about the people under his command. So he knows a thing or two because he's seen a thing or two. Tell me about Caden. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. Yeah, I'd imagine. Also, what is that? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Ah, sometimes his head blows up. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. Oh, just that? There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Yeah. All right, then. Fair enough. I should go. Always a Goodbye, pleasure Commander. talking with you. Codex. And some experience. Oh, by the way, Captain, here I have some experience on your way out. <laughs> Reaches into her pocket and just hands me a bottle of experience from Minecraft. Uh, got new stuff in the codex. Technology. <clears throat> Bionics manipulate Mass Effect shields using dozens of Element Zero nodules within their neuro systems that react to electrical stimuli from the brain. Amplifiers allow biotics to synchronize the nodules so they can perform fields so they can form fields large and strong enough for practical use. Amplifiers can improve a specific discipline or talent. An implant is a surgically embedded interface port into which amps are plugged in. On humans, the implant is usually placed at the base of the skull for convenience, convenient access. Though the user must be careful to keep it free of contaminants. Implant ports can fit a variety of amps, and there is a growing market for modifications and add-ons. The finest quality implants and amps are manufactured by Asari artisans, but the Alliance's L3 implants, deployed first deployed in 20,170, are a significant step forward. Neat. Neat. What's in my locker? Oh, it's obviously my Scimitar, my Avenger 2, and the Hammer 3. I can't not take them. All right, take them, I guess. New stuff in the codex? New stuff in the codex. Systems Alliance, N7. All right, the timeline. The Alliance Military Vocational Code System classifies the career path of all serving personnel. The MVC consists of one letter and one number. Uh, like 2B, 9S, A2, C9, uh, a soldier's MVC indicates proficiency, not rank. The letter notes career path. The number indicates level of experience as indicated by service record. Technical scores and commendations. All 26 letters are used, and the numbers run from 1 to 7. N is the letter code for special, for, uh, special forces personnel. So we're pretty good. We're pretty... We're pretty... We're pretty... Uh... Proficient. Hmm. Apparently not in. We're not proficient in the way that vocal words happen. Speaking. Oh my god. 
Hey, you mind if I come in? Ooh, RTX enabled. Okay, I say that, and then my shadow is floating. <laughs> Yes, and that's actually pretty sick. Yo! Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy I'm into gone. dock. Whoa. This, don't climb the... This is the worst. But do all of our beds look like this? Like two beds just slapped against each other? Like we're in a 50s sitcom or what have you? Like... Oh. What are there like straps on each side so that you don't like try and roll over into the middle there? This place sucks. Oh, I could even see the reflection. Oh, I could even see the door open. That's neat. In the reflection. I'm easily amused. Let's take this elevator, see where it goes. We have more people to talk to. Oh, it goes down. I don't know why. For some reason. No, it, it, it can't go up because I didn't see the place to exit the elevator from uh, up there. Hello. <clears throat> In the Normandy's vehicle bay, using a squad member's locker allows you to assign equipment to them. New equipment may be, may be purchased from the requisite officer. You am? And then there's even... This ship is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Alright, so there's where Caden's locker is. There's some... Snipers and shotguns and pistols and shalt rifles. <laughs> There's a really big inspect codex. All right, into the code. Nope, into the codex. Ships and vehicles and technology. The Mako Infantry Fighting Vehicle was oh, designed right. for the System Alliance's frigates. Though the interior is cramped, Frigate. M35 is small enough to be carried in the cargo bay and easily deployed on virtually any world. With its turreted 155mm mass accelerator and coaxially mounted machine gun, the Mako can provide a fire team with weapon support as well as mobility. Since Alliance Marines may be required to fight on any world, the Mako is environmentally sealed and equipped with microthrusters for use on low-gravity planetoids. The Mako is powered by a sealed hydrogen-oxygen fuel cell and includes a small Element Zero core. Have we While not Element large zeros? enough to nullify the vehicle's mass, the core can reduce it enough to be safely airdropped. When used in conjunction with thrusters, it also allows the Mako to extricate itself from difficult terrain. Extricate. Extricate. I really like that word. Uh, anyway, I'll micro thrust your planetoid. Uh, right, so it's it's a chip that you could use to, to travel. Sick. Biotics oh. is the ability of rare go. individuals to manipulate dark energy. Dark energy? Mass effect fields through the use of electrical impulses from the brain. Intense training and surgically implanted amplifiers are necessary for a biotic to produce mass effect fields powerful enough for practical use. The relative strength of biotic abilities varies greatly among species and with each individual. There are three branches of biotics. Uh -huh. Telekinesis uses mass lowering fields to levitate or impel objects. Okay. Mass raising kinetic fields are used to block or pin objects. Okay. Spatial distortion uses rapidly shifting mass Mr. fields Spatial. to shred objects. Interesting. Most organic species are capable of developing biotic yeah. abilities, Sorry. though there are <laughs> risks involved. Biotics are the result of an in utero exposure to element zero. This right. usually causes fatal cancers in the victim, but in rare cases, it coalesces into nodules within the fetus's developing nervous system. Did we, did I already read about what Element Zero was in another one of these? Because there was like an explosion, was it? Y'all are going to have to forgive me a little bit getting into, I think it's, it's difficult getting into a new <laughs> massive RPG thing and having to learn all of its lore and also only getting to play like two hours every week. So, you know, you gotta forgive me a little bit here. I'm trying, I'm trying. Let's see. Humanity's first contact yeah, yeah, yeah. with an alien race occurred in 2157, 
No, that's that's, that's that? not that. Lance the location. The no, that's not. Was that in here? Ooh, right here. Akuze. I keep forgetting its name. I feel like I should learn the name Akuze. Akuze, rather. Just so I could make <laughs> references and jokes about it. Thresher Maws. So giant worms were the thing that killed him. Hmm. I'll try and remember that. The timeline. First human settlement on Luna. Eldfell Ashland Energy Corporation distributed. Eh, no. Is there like a. Here we go. A shipping accident at Singapore International Spaceport exposes downwind communities to containers of dust form element zero. We just don't know what it is, we just know that it was the cause in Singapore. Right, alright. Uh, we can at least check. Hey, Commander. Yo. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? Supplies? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Bombs? alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. <laughs> pay you? What do you mean? Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? That's that's... My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Tell me about these licenses. What are licenses? Why do you need them? I may have gotten some serious brain license. damage earlier. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of product. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Uh, interesting. But also, Many why do I have to buy those? Licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. That's actually a really neat, like a way of upgrading a a easily accessible merchant. That's pretty good. Uh, manufacturers? What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, new items then. How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses <laughs> you This guy purchase. should be looking directly into the camera for this. Basis regardless. And anytime we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. All right. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Uh, right. Uh, human, heavy armor, light armor. Oh my, God, these are expensive. Either that, or we just, I don't know how much these grenade. Oh, right. I haven't used any grenades. That's actually interesting. Metagel upgrade? Increase maximum units of metagel. Wow, these are cheap. I mean, we haven't run out of meta gel. Ooh, sell all junk button. This is the best game ever. We haven't ran ran out of meta gel or grenades yet, so I think I'm gonna wait to purchase these. How does this compare? Oh, it's it's worse in every single way. Well, assuming that this fires like I think it does, but I don't know. It's the Kessler, so I don't know how it fires actually. What do we got that you want? Should I? I feel like I, I don't know. I don't want to sell anything yet, I don't think. I don't know, like, I don't know what our squad's going to be like. And it feels... Oh, there's a buyback button. Uh, oh, back to the codex. <laughs> I don't know what the their equipment needs are going to be, so I'm going to not sell anything yet. And the technology. Biotics is... Omni tools are handheld devices. That I got one of them. A computer microframe, sensor analysis pack, and manufacturing fabricator. Versatile and reliable, an Omni tool can be used to analyze and adjust the functionality of most standard equipment, including weapons and armor, from a distance. Mm -hmm. The fabrication module can rapidly assemble small three dimensional objects from common reusable industrial plastics, ceramics, and light alloys. This allows for field repairs and modifications to most standard items, as well as the reuse of salvaged equipment. Omni tools are standard issue for soldiers and first-in colonists. 
Sick. So basically, they're Biotic <laughs> as some form of tools are tool that does everything that you need it to. Microframe, if only there's a name for that. Anything new in here? Nope. Man, I'm hungry. I just like <laughs> just got like a pang of hunger. <laughs> well, I'll be talking to you later, maybe. Hello. Well, well, well. If it isn't whatever that thing is. It feels like a bad idea. Like, there's, like, pathways right there, but, like, or, not pathways, uh, uh, railings right there, but, like, not any, like, right here. Seems short-sighted. I'll examine this and get some more stuff in the codex. LN0 core, I'll examine that, get more stuff in the codex. I'll talk to Engineer Adams. Shame about Jenkins, Commander. Truly. Shame about Jenkins, Commander. Y'all don't get, like, chairs? Do you mind if I read some lore in here? Alright. Biotics oh, hey. is the nope. ability element zero. When Ezo. subjected to an electrical current, the rare material dubbed element zero, or Ezo, mm -hmm. emits a dark energy field that raises or lowers the mass of all objects within it. This uh -huh. mass effect is uh -huh. used in <laughs> countless ways, from generating artificial gravity to manufacturing high-strength construction materials. It is most prominently used to enable faster-than-light space travel. Ezo is generated when solid matter, such as a planet, is affected by the energy of a star going supernova. The material is common in the asteroid debris that orbits neutron stars and pulsars. These are dangerous places to mine, requiring extensive use of robotics, telepresence, and shielding to survive the incredible radiation from the dead star. Only a few major corporations can afford the setup costs required to work these primary sources. Humanity discovered refined element zero at the Prothean Research Station on Mars, allowing them to create mass effect fields and develop FTL travel. Ask, and ye shall receive answers. So, it makes stuff have less or more mass. Is the is the is the big and short of it, big and small of it, tall and skinny? What? I don't know what I'm saying. That's all of it. Or not all of it. You know what I mean? That's the important part. Stop trying to use words that you think are cool. <laughs> anyway, uh, right, 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 right. uh, raises or lowers the mass of all objects within it. Also, all I really need to know. Element Tell about zero them can more. increase or decrease the mass of eh? a volume of space-time when subjected to space an electrical current. Time? With a positive current, mass is increased. With a negative current, mass is decreased. The stronger the current, the greater the magnitude of the dark energy mass effect. In space, low-mass fields allow FTL travel and inexpensive surface-to-orbit transit. High-mass fields create artificial gravity and push space debris away from vessels. In mm -hmm. manufacturing, low mass fields permit the creation of evenly blended alloys, while high mass compaction creates dense, sturdy construction materials. The military makes extensive use of mobility enhancing technologies, with mass effect utilizing fighting vehicles standard frontline issue in most military forces. Mass effect fields are also essential in the creation of kinetic barriers or shields to protect against enemy fire. Sick. So it makes it lighter to fly, it makes it heavier to, so we can walk on stuff. All right, that's really cool. I like how th this entire franchise is named after, like, just that. Pretty cool, I like it. Uh, anyway, ooh, I haven't done my elevator. Elevator review for this elevator. I mean, why does it even have these, like, open sides? Like, probably so that you can see that you're moving from, like, a game sense. But, like, from, like, a, an engineering standpoint, why do they need to be there? Just have, like, have it all boxed in and it would be, like, a really damn good elevator. So you disappoint me. Game. Open. Yo, nameless person. Yo, the... I 
There's triplets on it. Quadruplets on this ship. Presley? I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Certainly. Uh, Nav Manuel. New stuff in the codex. Yeah, all right. Nope, not the button. Humanity and... <laughs> oh, God. Systems Alliance Military Jargon. Oh, God. Here we go. Ashore. When a ship's crew leaves the vessel, they are ashore. Though Normandy used regarding planet... No, what? Normandy? That's not the word. Normally used regarding planets, it can refer to boarding a space station. That's easy enough to understand. Away. When a ship releases the equipment tailoring it to a space station or service dock, it is away. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Aye, <laughs> aye. This, this is just pirate shit. The proper way to acknowledge an order. If told to attack, the correct response is, aye, aye, sir. If asked, are you proud to be a Marine? The correct response is, yes, sir. Aye, aye. ASAP, pronounced ASAP, an acronym of as soon as possible. Oh, boy. Belay, stop, stop, cease. I like belay, belay is a good word. Bridge, the navigation part of the center of the spacecraft. Where the steering is did, captain's mast. This is, I'm being pranked right now. This is just, this is just ship lingo. Captain's mast, non-judicial -ju -dis disciplinary proceedings by unit commanders. CIC, Combat Information Center. I, that's, I don't think pirate ships have that one. The command center of a spacecraft. The CIC is filled with sensor displays to make sense out of the chaos of combat. All right. DC stands for a detective comics or damage control. The containment and repair of damage to a spacecraft. All right. Sure. ECM, uh, electronic countermeasures used to avoid enemy sensors from passive emissions masking to active jamming. All right. EVA. Extravehicular activity, time spent in a pressure suit, outside of a vehicle, spacecraft, or station. All right. So it's extra in the sense that it's not intra. Because, like, intravehicular activity in that case would be doing activities inside a vehicle. It's like in the term extricate. I see. Flank. Oh, boy. The flank is the side of a military formation. Since the soldiers are facing elsewhere, an enemy shot that can attack the flank is often turn it or roll it up. Oh, right. An enemy attack that can attack on the flank can often didn't turn it or roll it up, aka the ship. So you can turn the... Because the shot damages the... It turns the ship. FNG. <clears throat> Freaking new guys. A derisive term. For inexperienced personnel. <laughs> totally not me. I'm totally a commander. Ground side. The surface of a planet. Makes sense. Helmsman. The crew member who pilots a spacecraft. Why not just pilot? It's shorter. Ladar. Light amplified detection and ranging. An active sensor that bounces lasers off an object to determine its bearing and distance. Ladar has a sufficient resolution that the data can be reconstructed into an image. Don't we, uh, don't we have this in real life? I think it's called LIDAR, I think. LADAR, I think I talked about this, but I'm going to talk about it again because it's the word right there. Ashore party, spacecraft crew sent ashore on official business. You can see that the uh, vocabulary terms are being used in the in the vocabulary terms itself. This will be on the test later, so you better all be writing this down, taking notes. I do want you to know how to spell all of these. Silent running, an old submariners, submariners term used aboard the Normandy to denote when stealth systems are active. All right. Sit rep, an abbreviation of situation report and evaluation of the current military situation. Spacer, someone who has spent most of their time in space. XO, executive officer. Should it be EO then? <laughs> the second in command of an Alliance warship. The XO is responsible for administrative and personnel matters. Oh, so the boring job. That's it, it's actually Fairly useful. I feel like I could have deduced what most of these mean, but still useful. Uh, is that it? Is that all the new ones? That's all the new ones. All right. Joker's down that way. 
Anybody here want to talk? Door. What's the door? Right, and in here is this room. FTL. All right, all right. Can I get more codex stuff? Technology. Oh boy, communications. Oh, there's a lot. There's four paragraphs. Real time communication is possible thanks to networks of expensive, expensive mass relay combois that can daisy chain a transmission via lasers. That's just a cool sentence. Calm buoys are maintained in patterns built outward from each mass relay. The buoys are little more than a cluster of primitive miniature mass relays. Each individual buoy is connected to a partner on another buoy in the network, forming a corridor of low mass space. Tight beam communication lasers are wiped, piped through these tubes of FTL space, allowing virtually instantaneous communication to anywhere on the network. Fascinating. The networks connect across regions by communication lasers through the mass relays. With this system, the only communications re delay is the light lag between the source or destination and the closest buoy. So long as all parties remain within a half a light second, uh, 150,000 kilometers of buoys, seamless real-time communications are possible. Since buoys are maintained in all traveled areas, most enjoy unlimited instant communication. Ships only suffer communication lag when operating off established deep space routes around uninhabited outer system gas giants and other unsettled areas. And it's, it's pretty neat. I can't wait for that to come up as a plot device. We can't get the message out. We're currently next to <laughs> bumblefuck nowhere. During wartime, combuoy networks are the first target of attack. Once the network is severed, it can take anywhere from weeks to years to get a message out of a contested system. In systems where a buoy network has not been built or has been destroyed, rapid communication means ferrying information through high-speed courier ships and unnamed data drones. All right. Now we know. I can't wait to lose my voice. I, there's eventually just going to be like a two-hour... Basically, my entire like recording session is just going to be me reading. And it's gonna be great. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is in space. How you doing, Jokeman? Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Good job, Helmsman. What's up? Purple place. I like the triangle on top. That's character. That's pretty cool. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. It probably has it. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. Oh boy, there's gonna be so much talking in this place. Ooh. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of a Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. 
Captain Anderson. I see you brought half your crew with you. All the Just the ground ones. team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate. They are. No, we just we're just lying Sounds through like our teeth and all of them. The council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. We could head back to Eden Prime and pull out the bullets of a. Uh... <sighs> Whatever his name was, I forgot it again. Uh, there, he, it's the truth. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. I said that. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. Eh. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. But I saved Eden Prime, at least that city. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. I Otherwise, the council might four use bombs. this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get It'll in. It'll literal, literally be like eight hours from now. And that's why I hate politicians. That's a good enough reason for me. Important locations are marked on you, Matt. Press M to access it. M. It makes a funny noise when I do that. Dra here we go. Here's the dragon map. We are here. And there's Eudina's office. And there's some Volus and Elkor offices. And some more stuff. And there's a path down. And there's a 2T Sec Academy. And then there's Consort Chambers. And then there's D Davina. And there's also... Uh, what? Do you mind? I was in the middle of a map. And there's an Emporium. And then there's a bank. And then there's more stuff. Probably, yeah. There's more stuff in the codex. The Citadel is an ancient. Uh, we already read that. The Council is an executive committee composed of representatives from the Asari Republics, the Torian Hierarchy, and the Salarian Union. Though they have no official power over the independent governments of other species, the Council's decisions carry great weight throughout the galaxy. No single Council race is strong enough to defy the other two and all have a vested interest in compromise and cooperation. Each of the Council species has general characteristics associated with the various aspects of governing the galaxy. The Asari are typically seen as diplomats and mediators. Uh -huh. The Salarians gather intelligence and information. Uh -huh. The Turians provide the bulk of the military and peacekeeping forces. Mm -hmm. Any species granted an embassy on the Citadel is considered an associate member bound by the accords of the citadel conventions associate members may bring issues to the attention of the council though they have no input on the decision the human systems alliance became an associate member of the citadel in 2165 all right sick how are we feeling big place yeah i know you can well i could almost touch the sky from here Sure is peaceful here. Yeah. Big place. You. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. What? <laughs> That's the first thing you say? Well, they've built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. Probably. This place is a little too perfect. Like they're hiding something. You're coming off really aggressive. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Especially that. Sure is peaceful here. <laughs> Kane's like, man, this place is great. And it's big. And she's like, I can't even tell the aliens from the... What is the part of, point of this place? There's like no way to get over there. I guess it actually looks like more like a roof than... Alright, let's do some exploring then. Uh, first, let's do some uh, saving. Last save was on Eden Prime. Uh, journal, right. Citadel, expose a Saren. You have to prove to the Citadel Council that Saren, one of their Spectre agents, has gone rogue. Will do. Another try hard door. 
Hello. All right, actually, I can kind of see what you mean now. <laughs> These allegations are very serious. I can This is serious. My reputation is at stake. I spoke with the consort in confidence, and her alone, and she betrayed that confidence. All right. I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. What up, it's me. Please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Uh, no offense, but what the fuck are you? Oh, your speech. Elcor, Ambassador. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly... We discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. Just got roasted the fuck out, Din. Uh, it's very interesting. I hope it's not offensive that dude, I'm asking this. It's just that I am very brain damaged. Uh, Elcor. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. What's your food like? Tell me about the history and origins but of the Elcor. also your history. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council's space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly. Within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. When you say more active, tell me about your culture. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. All right. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. I can tell. Uh, tell me about... <laughs> All right, so... And this is going to be even more confusing. I have no idea what an ambassador is. Can you tell me about their culture? What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Well, that's all I need to know. I love Goodbye, you guys. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. I love these guys. <laughs> oh, God, there's going to be so many... The Elcor oh, God, are it Citadel it species native to the yeah, high Elcor. gravity world Dakuna. Oh, they are massive uh, stop, creatures, stop, stop. standing on four uh, muscular legs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what I was gonna say was, I wish that they had like the species themselves read out their own lore. <laughs> that would have that been great! The Elcor are a species that... And that's great, that's one of them perfect. Perfect. Yeah, whatever. The Elcor are a citadel species native to the high gravity world Dakuna. They are massive creatures I standing on four muscular legs for increased stability. Because their gravity so high. Slowly, an evolved response to an environment where a fall can be lethal. Right. This has colored their psychology, making them deliberate and conservative. Elcor's speech is ponderous and monotone. It's great. Among themselves, scent, slight movements, and sub-vocalized infrasound convey shades of meaning that make a human smile seem as subtle as a fireworks display. 
That's really cool. Since their subtlety can lead to misunderstandings with other species, the Elcor often go out of their way to clarify when they are being sarcastic, amused, or angry. More people Dakuna's should do that in real life. impedes mountain formation. Most of the world consists of flat, open plains, which prehistoric Elcor wandered across in small family bands. Modern Elcor still prefer open sky and can become restless and uncomfortable on long starship journeys. Man, I hope one of you gets added to the crew. The and Geth the, the Geth are the, uh, the Geth are the AI, right, right, right. Roughly 1,200 And you guys are ago, really more like were invited and like to join the Citadel fighting, Council right? To fulfill... Uh, you, Zeltan, my man, uh, my person. Sorry, I accidentally told Ashley to walk into you. Back. Moving out. Unmove out. Hello there. <laughs>